Let's discuss the basic principles of an ohmmeter. To begin with, what exactly do we mean by the term resistance? Well, consider any piece of material, any kind of uh, physical object, and if we connect a battery, or we might say a DC voltage source to that material, um, a, a current may or may not flow depending on the specific nature of that material. So the battery, under certain circumstances, is able to cause an electric current to flow, as I'm indicating here, through that material. Now resistance measures the relative difficulty of pushing current through this material. If we have an electrical conductor, then it's very, very easy. We would say the material has low resistance when it's a conductor. An insulator means that it's very difficult to push current through it, and we would say that the insulator has high resistance. These are kind of the extremes, the conductor and the insulator, and then you can have materials can be anywhere in between. Now you may have heard of Ohm's law at this point. This applies to materials with a proportional relationship between voltage and current. This is my symbol for a resistor. It has a resistance R. We have a current and a voltage associated with this resistor. And Ohm's law states that the voltage is proportional to current. And more specifically, we write that V equals R times I, where the resistance value is the proportionality constant. And the unit of resistance is called the Ohm. Now let's consider the ohm meter itself. This is an instrument intended to directly read the resistance of any material. The ohm meter symbol is a circle with the ohm symbol, or Greek uh, capital omega symbol. The ohm meter applies a small current to the material, I, and then measures the resisting voltage and that resisting voltage is V. From this measurement then, it, the meter effectively calculates the resistance as V divided by I. Now it's a very important to understand that the ohmmeter is an instrument that uh, essentially applies energy to the material. That means the, the material to be measured must be passive. You can't have any batteries or other energy sources involved here. The circuit element, if you're trying to measure the resistance of a resistor, for example, must be removed from the circuit before you make this measurement because you want the ohmmeter to have the ability to control the current through that uh, device.